Okay, today we're going to be doing a, a classic uh, reaction. It's the thermite reaction, which is a displacement reaction between uh, two reactants. We've got uh, aluminium powder there, and we've got iron three oxide there. Okay, and uh, it's a displacement reaction because aluminium is higher up the reactivity table than uh, iron. So when you mix the aluminium powder with the iron oxide, the aluminium will want to uh, rip oxygen uh, out of the air to react with and also off of the uh, iron oxide molecules uh, to form aluminium oxide, leaving uh, what would initially be molten iron, but we've got a plan to deal with that. So uh, it's really important that these ingredients are totally dry when we carry out this reaction because any moisture can react with the aluminium. Uh, aluminium reacts with water to form hydrogen and that could be an explosive mixture which is not what we want. So we've been desiccating over here in our desiccating chamber um, precise proportions of iron oxide and uh, aluminium powder. Okay, you can see the difference in colour. I'll bring them over to the camera so you can have a good look. You want to get the mix as close as, well, as accurate as possible. So you can see the difference in colours here. Aluminium powder on, the, uh, on your left and iron oxide on your right. And the easiest way to mix these together is on some paper like this. Right, and then what we'll do is... like mixing uh, cement on the uh, building site. Work these through. Okay, we've got our uniform uh, mixture of aluminium powder and iron oxide. And now we're going to tip this into a concertina filter paper. And this is held over a large beaker of water. Got about a litre of water there. So that's gonna really help cool down the uh, products because they're gonna be extremely hot. This is a very, very exothermic reaction. Now I'm just placing in the top what we're using as our fuse, which is uh, about 10 centimetres of magnesium tape. And we're going to light that, and that's going to uh, initiate the uh, displacement of the molten iron from the aluminium uh, with it by the aluminium powder from the iron oxide. Okay, right, there we go. Okay, good. Well, we've waited for half an hour for everything to make sure that it's uh, totally cool, so we can begin to move the uh, equipment out of the way. And we've got water still a little bit warm, but in here we will have our products, so and we can have a closer look at those. So I've taken them out of the water with a sieve, and uh, we can just have a little bit of a closer look at them. So there's still some unreacted iron oxide, but if we use a, a magnet, you can see that we're picking up lots of particles sticking to the magnet and I don't know, you can quite clearly see some of these that look like molten blobs of iron, droplets of iron that have cooled uh, on landing in the water. Rust back into iron thanks to the reactivity of aluminium powder. Okay, classic displacement reaction. <laughs> 